Hey, what is going on, guys? JBO with another political video, and today we're going to be talking about how Joe Biden and his campaign wants to take away a lot of freedoms and wants to do a lot of scummy things if he is elected, uh, such as taking away certain guns, doing things that are based on race, things like this. We all know this, uh, and today I'm just going to be talking about it. Um, and this is going to be the second video coming out today. If you haven't seen the first one, go check it out. It was pretty good. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, I still feel pretty bad. Um, if you're new to the channel, Please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. We're almost at 100 subs, and let's just keep it going. Trump train, and let's get this channel JB up a little bit. We got this. All right. So let's go on to the actual video. Again, in this video, I am also using um, some Steven Crowder clips. And yeah, let's just let's look at it, and I'll be breaking down a little bit more. Stare to you. I will tell you on air, and I will read <laughs> directly from his website. Joe Biden's gun control policies are far more radical than people feared Barack Yes, they are. And this is this is what terrifies me. This is what makes me want to get a gun. I've been try I've almost have enough money to buy a gun. They are fifteen in California. I'm gonna get one. Uh, have my mom buy it probably, and then have it transferred to me because I'm eighteen. Like Obama's would. And you can't buy that many guns when you're eighteen in California. It's great. B. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't understand yeah. this. Uh, did you find it there? Uh, yeah. JoeBiden.com/slash/gun-safety. Uh, gun safety. Gun safety. Uh, and I'll be reading some of the things that he has there that uh, Crowder also mentions. Ah. Uh, yeah, like shoot him in the leg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that whole incident of saying shoot him in the leg, it's dangerous for several reasons. Uh, if you don't know, it's really, really hard to hit someone in the leg. That's why, you, that's why they're taught to shoot to, uh, to kill, shoot to stop, uh, until the threat is no more central body mass. That's why they shoot the chest and stomach area. If you shoot the legs, you, you risk missing it. Uh, you can leave them literally, like, imagine surviving and then you're your whole knees were shattered and you can't do anything. But also, um, if you miss, it can bounce off uh, bullets like to travel down walls and they can hit people like, you know, instant bystanders with the person that you're trying to save, the, the convict that you're trying to catch as a police officer. Um, you can hit the innocent people. So it's not a good idea to shoot at the legs. Yeah. <laughs> and, and no one's shot. pressed him on it. Think about this too, the topics for the debates. We don't have the economy in there. We don't have yeah. gun control. And by the way, which is very, very, very scummy is my last video we talked about how the debates are very, very scummy, how the moderators seem to be very, very left-leaning. No news on it. No right. news Bro. on mass shootings at all as you go to election. Why? Because it's the single most losing issue for Democrats, particularly in the Rust Belt, in the Midwest, where people are... Very, very true. Very, very true. So now we're going to be going to the next part of the clip that Carlos was talking about. Biden will ban any and all online firearm Ooh. ammunition or accessory sales meaning under a wow. joe biden administration according to his own website you can't buy a grip a trigger spring a holster depending on how you wow. define except yeah because it's very very vague in what he means by prohibiting the online sale of firearms ammunitions. and i just want to point this out here uh the reasoning that he had in an earlier thing right around up here oh that wasn't the spot i meant but i uh, Somewhere else in this, he was talking about, let's see if I should take out, I don't care. But basically, the reasoning is because he's like, four, it was like one out of five, uh, or through the quote-unquote gun loophole, which we all know is not the way that they say it is. Through, uh, you still have to get vetted, you still have to have the background check, it doesn't work like that. There's many videos of people testing this quote-unquote gun loophole and finding that, hey, it's not actually, it's not actually real. Um, and love how this is his website. So it says, together we can make Donald Trump a one-term president. Let's make him a two-term president, guys. If you're watching this, please, 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 go exercise your civil liberty and go vote. Even if it's not for who I want it to be, I want you to vote for who you believe would be the best president for this country. In my opinion, it's no one other than President Donald Trump. He's going to get four more years and do amazing things. <laughs> Accessories. Let me read right here. Biden's plan would, quote from his website, end the online sale of fire online sale. Do you know that? I didn't. And when you said I, it's, it's no one's talking about this. So I feel like I need to make a video. Crowd obviously made a video, and I will be uh, able to charge adults for minors accessing guns. And I know what you're saying. It's like if an adult, and it's already a crime. If an adult gives a minor a firearm that they don't have, they don't have the legal authority to possess, mm -hmm. that's sure. a crime. Sure. Yes, it is, and I, I agree with that. You shouldn't be giving children guns. Uh, the situation with Kyle Rittenhouse, he shouldn't have had a gun. Um, but I don't think he should be charged with murder. Three court uh, counts of it either. Okay. That's not what the law is. Let me again ah. read from the website. Hold adults accountable for giving minors access to firearms. Biden supports legislation holding adults criminally and civilly liable uh, for directly or negligently giving a minor access to a firearm, regardless of whether the minor actually gains possession <laughs> of the So that's like saying right here. Basically, uh, imagine you have a gun in your house and you have it in a safe, but it, um, it's not locked. It's just in the safe. 
Technically speaking, they could get you on that. Say you have your gun and it's on a wall, has no ammo in it, um, because it doesn't say loaded, it just says gun. Uh, that could technically get you there. So there's gonna be, so say one neighbor doesn't like another neighbor, or someone doesn't like someone. You're like, oh, go play over their house and tell me about the. And then the kids like, oh, they had so many guns on the wall. What? They have guns? Oh, I don't like them. So t tell the Biden Gestapo to come on out, and they can just take your guns away. It's it's very very scummy, and it's not something that I want in America. Firearm. What? But reason that if you have a nightstand gun that isn't in a safe, even if the kid it's never scary. accesses it, never yeah. uses it, doesn't know that it's there, because it says very clearly, holding adults criminally. Yeah, even if they don't actually, well, actually, again, I'm gonna like this right now. But um, on to the next point. Here's another one. Hate crime. The hate crime. This one sort of. This one bothers me. Loophole. Yeah. And this is something you know mm -hmm. that is incredibly disturbing because people go, "Oh, what's a, you can commit hate crimes right now." Yeah. And that's a loophole. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. So we've gone through. It's, it's it's not true. Um, what Biden's doing is just. He's such a scummy person, and I, I really dislike that aspect of the Democratic Party and him right now. Banning all online sales, right. banning having firearms and kids in a house, period, effectively, making it illegal. And now he says on his website he'll close the hate crime loophole by, quote, bring us up to cute Maddie. Legislation pro prohibiting an individual who has been convicted of a misdemeanor hate crime or received an enhanced sentence for a misdemeanor because of hate or bias in its commission from purchasing or possessing a firearm. So that sounds good and... and an aspect right here just sounds good you know close close a hate crime loophole so basically you commit a hate crime you can't uh get a gun usually when hate crimes are given out uh, as hate crimes it says they kill someone or they attack someone something like that but in this instance he's talking about misdemeanors meaning things that are lesser so still misdemeanor hate crime sounds bad but listen to some of the examples that crowd will give for misdemeanor hate crimes you hate people it's that you tried to kill people yes yes that's true <laughs> um already really bad what do you mm -hmm. have to say to be charged with a, a misdemeanor hate crime just say naughty words no that's what i have a very big issue with i don't want to lose the freedom of speech that america is made off of the one of the many amendments that give us our god-given rights and this this man joe biden is trying to take away our god-given rights and if you, even if you don't believe in god these are your rights we don't want to lose any of our rights because this will allow the government to take more and more and more of the slippery slope and it will lead to us being basically like North Korea. It could happen if we lose our rights slowly over time. No speech, no freedom to assemble, no a right to bear arms. All these things would be very, very destructive for us. Oh, are you exaggerating? Nope, we have cases of this. We've talked about it before. Uh, students at the University of Connecticut, remember they were playing a game. Right, yeah. So Connecticut college students charged with violating state law prohibiting ridicule after using racial slur. Uh, I don't think... Obviously, for kids, they weren't smart, but uh, they shouldn't they shouldn't be in trouble for this. When I, earlier this month, Carl and Mukach, uh both described being described by police as white, walked with another individual through the parking lot of, student, of a student complex playing a game in which they yelled vulgar. It's, quite, it's basically the penis game. You have penis, penis, penis. You get louder and louder until one person uh, bit, bitches out. Um, they were doing it. Uh, police alleged that the two switched to saying the n-word when they reached the parking lot, which was loud enough for two people inside to hear. Now, we, I, I'm assuming this is true because I, I, I don't know. The game where they yelled increasingly. If is, even if it is, it's freedom of speech. Like, they're not like destroying someone. They're not attacking someone. They're not hurting someone. This has nothing to do with that. It's freedom of speech. They should be able to say whatever the heck they want. Expensive words back yeah. and forth. You, know, you have to go loud. Class. Yeah. Apparently, they were playing a game where it's like saying racial. Their synapses right. haven't formed it for playing a game. Uh, Black Lives Matter. And we also have. Yeah, here's, uh, here's the next example that I really wanted to point out. That's very, very bad. Um, as you all know BLMs, those good peaceful protests, but there's also uh, bad ones. And I don't agree with the BLM uh, organization. And a lot of the riots happen at night, and I disagree with that. And the peaceful ones, um, they are fighting for police reform, which I do think police need some reform. But defunding the police is not going to help. It's going to hurt the issue. It's not the thing that B the black people need the most right now. They need, they need to fix the infighting that's going on in, in our cities. And the, the BLM doesn't care about that. The people that are protesting think that they they're doing a good job, but they're not. All the money goes to Joe Biden, other rich white politicians that don't care about black people. Because remember, if you don't if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black. So, you know, Joe Biden's just like that. He's not a great person. Uh, people recently who've been charged with misdemeanor hate crimes. So a man charged with hate crime at Melford Valley to argue self-defense. A white man, oh no, my man, a white city man accused of using his truck as a weapon in a crime motivated by prejudice 
but argue that he was acting as a defense of himself and his daughter in downtown Medford. I'm sorry, but when people are beating up on your car, uh, beating up on your truck, beating up on you, you have the right to defend yourself. And if that means driving them, running them over, I mean, if they're punching your car, trying to break in, trying to hurt you and your family, you do whatever you have to. You need to protect yourself and your family first. And that, I think it's it's stupid to be able to do what they're trying to do. I almost said the error word that YouTube doesn't like. The, um, the special needs word. I almost said that. That's not good. YouTube doesn't like that. Simply when it's because you said a bad word. If you're driving down a street and someone throws themselves on your car like the lady in Happy Gilmore. Get me out of here! <laughs> you keep driving. Should you lose your right to protect your wife and kids? Obviously not. You really, really shouldn't. Um, going on to the next part right here. Uh, basically talking about your gun things. This is this is one of the big issues. So to, to, to gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my gun. Yes, your AR-14. So if anyone knows that clip, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, look up Joe Biden, AR-14. Um, and he's just so mean. When, when people that don't agree with him, he's like, don't vote for me. Uh, be quiet, fat. And um, and just arguing, like, we're going to take your AR-14s because he's such a genius. I'm actually trying to find, buy an AR-15 right now, and, and I'm really hoping I can get it. It's a long process. In California, but I hope I can get it. Let's, let's continue on, though. Bingo! You're right if you have an assault weapon. <laughs> wow. The fact of the matter is, they should be... Assault weapon, it's... You're so smart, Biden. It's totally an assault weapon. Totally not a civilian version of it. Uh, I'm, I believe M16. It's a beautiful gun. I love M16s in video games. And I love the AR-15. I shot it for my birthday. Uh, go check the video out if you haven't. Be illegal, period. Uh, there's him saying he's going to ban all right. assault weapons. And he didn't and equivocate. He no, he didn't no, equivocate. Very clear. Yeah. And he I mentioned know. the buyback. Uh, he talks about the buyback program. Buybacks never seemed to work. The Australia, who had a buyback, um, it did not turn out well. Uh, the gun crime went down, yes. But guess what? The knife crime went up. And the, the violent crime went up. It's the same amount of violent crime. Just, just none of the pew pews. Would it be mandatory? I don't know because he didn't specify. Right. But he did say. So basically... He hasn't said that he's going to definitely do a gun buyback. Um, have fun with that, Biden. All the, all the people that care about their Second Amendment right, it doesn't matter what political affiliation, they're going to go up in arms against you. It doesn't matter. Um, but if anyone here remembers Beto, Beto O'Rourke, um, we can see some of the things that he was saying, uh, who who Biden has dubbed his guns are, his gun man, when he, if, if he won. A, that his gun his gun czar was going to be Francis O'Rourke, who you may know him as uh, Beto. How are you going to take away weapons from people who do not want to give them? And one thing that's really really stupid is AR-15 and the the AR versus AK. Uh, AR is an AK of both um, platforms. You know, AR-10, AR-15, uh, AK-47, AK. I believe AK. Oh, I don't I don't want to sound stupid. I don't I know those multiple different AKs, but the people uh the AR not AR the AK forty seven is both a pub, uh, civilian version and there is a military version. AK forty seven military full auto, AK forty seven in civilian use is semi auto. Um but people like to it, it's really confusing for people because it's the exact same name, both civilian version and the military version, even though they're totally different other in the way that they shoot. Um same gun basically, but one goes and one goes boop, 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 boop. so it's, it's very very different now they actually fire and operate i'm up and you don't know where they are <laughs> if someone does not turn in an ar-15 or an ak-47 one of these weapons of war weapons of war there we go because of big scary black rifles oh uh, yeah be quiet or, or brings out in public and, and brandishes it you mean open carry in an attempt to intimidate Open, open carrying doesn't mean intimidation. Um, it can be. Someone's trying to intimidate, but that doesn't happen that often. As we saw when we were at Kent State uh, recently, then that weapon will be taken from them. Uh, if they persist, there will be other consequences. Like what? So now you're Gestapo for us? That's lovely. Well, from he's not running for president. I'm going to guarantee this you this is not the last year seen of this guy. You're going to take care of the gun problem with me. Yeah, that's, that's what's terrifying. Um, again, Joe Biden does want to take your guns and... He wants to take away different liberties, and it's very, very, very scary. So please, 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 please vote. Even if you don't vote for Trump, uh, vote for someone. Vote Kanye West, please. If you're not going to vote for Trump, uh, I'd rather you vote for Trump. But again, vote whoever you want to. But these are things I think everyone should consider, if, even if they're on the left or the right. They influence their decisions. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please consider subscribing. Share with a friend. Let me know if you liked this down in the, in the, uh, below by leaving a comment or a like. Um, let me know why, if you didn't like it, how I can do better. I'm always trying, striving to do better. 
I was supposed to get new editing software, but that sort of fell through. I've had a lot of family issues really recently. Um, but yeah, again, thank you for watching this uh, Trump 2020. Please stay safe wearing your masks this COVID season. And wish me luck in my midterms. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace. Bye, guys. Enjoy the debates tonight.